Snake, to gain access to the lab, you'll need an ID card. You can get one from a guard in an orange jacket stationed in an area where you can hear Quetzal singing. To get the ID card from the soldier, do a body check. You've got to get inside that lab before the AI gets shipped out. Get a move on. Sneaking. Also has pretty decent rank for everything Stop. as far as camo goes. Oh, I had to put all my stuff back in. <laughs> well, new suit, new pockets. Yeah. That's a wild boy. Yeah. Well, couldn't get in the AI laboratory, so let's go oh, backwards. Also, all the Ooh. guys are back. Or rather, not back, new men, because we kidnapped all of them. Keep your ears open. Okay, so, so we gotta find a guy in an orange jacket, because he's the one with the card, and apparently he'll be wherever you can hear a Quetzal calling. And if you need to know what the call sounds like, you go to the start menu and use the codec. Karukaku! The subtitles say Kyo Kyo. <laughs> so yeah, every time you call the codec, it'll just be her making a bird call at you. I can move so fast. Oh yeah, the sneaking suit also makes you move a little bit faster than with normal camo. Stay down. No, stay down! <laughs> there, man. Also, yes, I have a shield. Um, it's a tiny shield. Full Not tiny. It's a little weirdly shaped. Torso shaped. Torso sized, yeah. I guess. Um, is complete. Shield's actually fairly useful. It will break eventually when it takes damage, but the higher rank you develop, um, the more damage the shield can take before it breaks. Uh. Oh no! Oh, okay. Hold well, on. Um. The shield's actually pretty okay. Uh, if you're in snake formation, the person behind walls, you know, also won't be taking much damage because the shield will be blocking them too. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. Bolton recovery subject confirmed onboard helicopter. Does that work in general with your body too? Uh, yeah, I think so. Hmm. I mean, if I'm getting hit with bullets, you probably won't hit. Oh, there's a guy. Oh, there's a new there's a there's a new POW. They just got new stock in. <laughs> Hooray, I am rescued. Could you Sorry, imagine how just... annoying that is? To patrol an area and realize your POW is missing and you have to replace him? Ah, oh, man! He looked really good in the corner. Ugh. I have to go all the way back to the store. Do you know how expensive this guy was? <laughs> See guy over to the right. Yeah. Hey, pay attention to this empty magazine I'm going to throw. Hiya. What's that noise? If you forget what a Quetzal sounds like, give Cecile a call on the radio. I'm She'll good. remind you. These guys have more stamina than normal guys, so I have to choke them out a little bit before I throw them into a wall. That should be enough to take them out. Yep. Okay, so hmm. How loud is this bird call gonna be? Uh, it's pretty obvious. <laughs> okay. Uh, it doesn't matter where you are on the map, you're gonna hear the Quetzal. Quetzal's oh. loud as hell. It'll All never right. shut up. Um, the Quetzal's location isn't random. The Quetzal will always be in the same part of the map. Oh, that's a little surprising. Mm-hmm. I just assume that's me. What? What are you doing? <laughs> it was a ghillie suit man. Shh. What's wrong? Bolton recovery subject confirmed on board. It's all fine now, apparently. Sure. Uh, no, the radio guy's still freaking out. He was able to call in. He got knocked out halfway, but yeah. Uh, let's see. It doesn't look like anybody's coming in yet, so let's run for it, I guess. <laughs> oh no! That's not running for it! It's sabotaging me! That's no, it's that's friendship. If you rolled into me and propelled me forward like a rocket, that'd be helping me. That would be friendship, but <laughs> Maybe that's what I was trying to do. Well it failed. <laughs> you failed at friendship, I'm sorry. Take the exam over. 
Is there like a date when I can read test test or? Uh, the person is in, uh, in except for five days. I'm sorry. <sighs> it take take two people to go through there. Snake. <laughs> it just has a really long uh, uh, telescope. And mm -hmm. he's just spying on Snake all the way from other base, and he he's just waiting for the money shot where they hold hands and go through the barrier. Oh, you'll do it. You'll do it one day. I'll just keep reminding you, Snake, until you hold hands. Let's see, Quetzal call. Hello, Quetzal. Oh, 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 wait, wait, it's oh. a guy right there. Nothing there. <laughs> Shoot him in the chest. <laughs> Poor guy. Let's take a nap. We've had a tough day. Mm hmm. Hmm. When I said that the Quetzal call isn't random, <laughs> are uh, you lying? Apparently, I am because um, this is actually the area where he's been every time I play this mission. Hmm. And it appears he's not here right now. Let's. Okay, yeah, this is. We haven't gone to this place yet. But yeah, every time I played this mission a couple times before, and every time he's been there. Hmm. Hmm. See, so it made more sense to me that it would move around. It just, yeah. you know. It must have been just luck that he was there every time. Mm hmm. Or you just enjoy lying to me. Maybe I do. Alright. Quetzal. Oh, I should probably check for snipers. Uh, uh, no, there's a guy hiding over here. He's not a sniper, though. See oh, wait. There's a guy by the tree. Scarecrow thing. The guy. To shoot at. Can I... I can't zoom in on you. Know, but see that tree right ahead? Mm -hmm. There's a guy hiding behind it. Wait, <laughs> There we go. You'll have to unequip the bolt recovery device before oh, no, no, no. you do the body check. I just heard the Quetzal. Also, the guy just tranked by axe and um is the man in the orange coat. Watch out, there's a guy right over there. How does he not see me? They have short vision, it was a PSP game. <laughs> but yep. Uh here's the guy. There it is, you'll have to pick it up. Perfect. <laughs> I like the message for it. Unlike it? the card you received from Huey, this will actually work. <laughs> recovery subject confirmed onboard oh, helicopter. God. You can never trust Huey for anything. God. Also, I'm out of balloons, so... All mine. I just took a... I just finally looked up close in the night vision goggles and they look very silly. <laughs> Look at him. It's just like a monocle. So <laughs> How are you seeing through that? I don't know. It's just immediately between your eyes. Maybe there are mirrors inside to reflect two eyepieces. I guess. Seems weird. Yeah. Granted, I don't know how those Whoops. things work. <laughs> oh, that actually was an accident. Go on without me. Very sorry. <laughs> I, f I forfeit. Corrupted. I'm just gonna jiggle my ab my <laughs> abs around a bit on the floor here. There's a lot of movement. Is this just supposed to be simulated breathing? Cause y yeah, it's, it's breathing. There's a lot of hip thrusting going on here. I don't know if you're seeing this. Um, let me check. Let me get, let me analyze this thrusting. <laughs> um. No, that's night vision goggles. Oh, I do not have the analyzer. Oh no. Well, how are you gonna? I'll just point gonna my know? gun at it. There you go. That that is a very weird way to breathe. 
Also, your suit has abs on it. Well, uh, th I just think those are his real abs, and the suit is, like, stuck inside the ridges. Because uh, if you breathe like that, I think you're going to get a good ab and oblique workout. That sounds really uncomfortable and also sounds like it'd make you really sweaty. <laughs> I don't like that. Put magazines all around it, by the way. I noticed. It's fine. It, it looks like he passed out after a really intense anime session. Manga mm -hmm. reading. That was far Ugh. too much manga. Oh boy, look at all this curry you left everywhere, you fat <laughs> fucking slob. <laughs> Clean this shit up. Fine, well, it's mine. Mom. Also, that was great curry. Yummy. It's pretty great. It's a very good healing item. Ouch, oh. my retinas have detached. <laughs> also, that took away half of our psych. Oh, wow. <laughs> you know, I don't know if the rescue box restores psych either. Oop. It might. That's, what's the description? No, it just recovers life. Perfect. And now since we knocked everybody out, <laughs> you can just run straight back there. I miss hunting animals. I wasn't really hunting, it was more I saw an animal, I'm gonna shoot the hell out of it with my gun. Or instantly eat it with my magical fork. I love that fork. <laughs> stab a go and you just somehow instantly eat it. Just one stab. Doesn't take much to kill a goat with a fork. I feel like you would really like that. As like an actual object. Mm hmm. Stab a pizza that's magically inside of you. No, I want to savor that pizza. You get to taste it. All at once? That'd be like a pizza explosion in my mouth. I slurred that. <laughs> <laughs> you drunk off the idea. Oh man, I uh, can't <laughs> wait for that to be real. I can't wait for the future. <laughs> uh. What? It doesn't work. Uh, well, <laughs> let's go home. There's no way we could open this door with, like, rockets or anything. Nah. Oh. Excellent. It's you could have climbed over You that. could have climbed those walls so easily. You have a helicopter. Also that. Some Mayan ruins. All right. Could have floated up on the Fulton and then just cut mm -hmm. the line and fell over Yeah. the top of that wall. Snake. Yes, waiting without joy or pleasure. Waiting for the one I despise. Don't move. Don't move. You men and your guns. You all say the same thing. I suppose you're here to destroy my research. Yes, I know. Just as I know what you did ten years ago. Go on. Kill me like you killed her. Kill me like you killed the boss. Kill me! What exactly do you... Come on, Snake. Or should I say Big Boss? That filthy title given you as reward for murder. Do you still wear it with pride? You chose a shadowy country over the mentor who made you what you are. You brought despair to good soldiers everywhere. You use the pretext of a mission to kill a true hero! Is that what you call loyalty? Answer me! The boss. Well, what do you have to say for yourself? She betrayed America. She stole a Davy Crockett and then defected to the other side. She used an American nuclear weapon to attack Soviet territory. The only way for Washington to prove its innocence to Moscow was to eliminate the traitor themselves. A 
Boss's death was the only thing that could have prevented all-out nuclear war. Is that what you call the truth? It's the truth as it was told to me. So the truth is that you sullied the reputation of your mentor, the woman you love most in this world, before you buried her? It was my mission. Huh. So that's the conclusion you came to in order to live with yourself. What's the boss to you? I'm the one she abandoned when she left this world. I won't rest until I get answers from the woman I loved. You and I are the same. We are the walking dead. <sighs> Would you like to meet her? The boss is gone. Not so fast. You'd like to meet her, wouldn't you? I can arrange it. You took her life. I gave it back. You what? Care for a sniff? It's only snuff. You're a cigar man, aren't you? Well, there's no smoking in there, so if you want to meet her, you'd best partake now. <coughs> Follow me. This is my baby, my morpho butterfly. It's neither pupa nor cocoon, but an Amar girl. A complete individual, in the fullest sense of the word. Is someone there? Uh, boss. We have a visitor. I'll introduce him. Don't try anything foolish. As long as we're in here, I can reduce you to carbon at the press of a button. Who are you? A man. A warfighter. I call it the Mammal Part. Mammal Part? For my participation on the project, I demanded access to all information on the boss. Everything the CIA had. Her personal history, military records, physiological data, correspondence, the files for every operation she took part in, every decision she ever made at every possible turn, what she took and what was taken from her. Her pain and her pleasure, her joy and sorrow, her life and death, and yes, even you. Why, why would you do that? Coldman sought an MAD-based AI that would deliver an effective retaliatory strike against the most appropriate target in response to a nuclear attack from a hypothetical adversary. An unmanned device to act as a deterrent capable of making the decisions and taking the actions that human beings cannot. I therefore concluded he required a cool calculating machine programmed to inflict swift, sure, and utter annihilation upon the enemy. No retaliation, but he took it upon himself to come up with a different answer. He said he needed the thought patterns of the very finest rational mind, one that thought on a global scale, took both past and future into consideration, and reached the best decision no matter how painful. And that's why you asked for everything they had on the boss. It was the logical thing to do. I knew of only one person who could be entrusted with the fate of the entire human race. What's your real goal here? To clear her name. Why was a legendary hero forced to betray her country? Why was she targeted for assassination by you, her most beloved disciple? I have no use for fabrications. I want the truth. The boss's last will. You must be dying to know yourself. No. No. She abandoned her country. Abandoned us all. Really? You think you understand her feelings? You're trying to recreate the boss's last will. Is that it? Why don't you ask her yourself? Jack. Jack? What? Jack? Boss. Jack! Boss. Jack! Go home. I'm not your boss anymore. Boss? Go home! No, I... Complete your mission, Snake. Extinguish that noble soul once again.
if you can. Clang. Oh shit. Uh, in the mammal pod. <laughs> This is this is where I belong. <laughs> Fuck box as a fucking mammal pod. Hell yeah. <laughs> mammal pod. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. Jack. Oh, let's tear out her brains. No, stop talking, mom computer. I'm not your boss anymore. You can't tell me what to do. Can't go. You claimed me in here. Taking all your brains. Your giant VHS tapes and putting everyone in my pocket. <laughs> Give me them. Can't put another gun on me, but I can take all these fuckers. Mm hmm. I like how he shuffles about from one spot to the other. Yeah. Surprisingly calm about all this. Oh no, what's happening? I locked him in there with, like, the breaker box. <laughs> <laughs> let me out, let me out, let me out. Can you just, like, let me out? I'll stop tearing all the brains out if you just let me out of the fucking mammal pod. Don't you like it in there? I taught you all I could. The rest you needed to learn on your own. Techniques, sure. But what about how to think like a soldier? There's a saying in the Orient, loyalty to men. Do you know what it means? Being patriotic. It means devoting yourself to your country. As long as we have loyalty to the end, there's no point in believing in anything, even in those we love. A soldier supposed to think. The only thing we can believe in with absolute certainty is the mission. <laughs> I'm defecting to the Soviet Union. Jack, you can't come with us. But where will I go? No, no. No, ma mammal pod horse. <laughs> what the fuck is with that horse? <laughs>